Condensation in a flat roof assembly is a common problem in cooler climates that can end up causing a lot of moisture and mold problems over the course of a heating season, and eventually the rotting of the roof structure if the problem is not addressed. This is a big deal especially if the roof is being loaded with a lot of snow and ice each winter, as the weakened wet framing can result in sagging which supports ponding water and even a structural failure if it's really bad. There are three ways to prevent condensation from occurring on the underside of the decking. We can warm the condensing surface using rigid insulation, we can prevent the moisture from reaching the condensing surface, or we can keep interior relative humidity levels low enough to prevent it from reaching dew point with dehumidification. That last one isn't a great solution since it can be very uncomfortable to operate at extremely low relative humidity levels, so our options really are either to warm the condensing surface or to prevent interior vapor from reaching the condensing surface. So let's say we go with the first option, warming the sheathing with outboard insulation. How much outboard insulation do you need to prevent condensation? Well, it depends on your climate zone and the interior relative humidity you're operating under. Warmer climates are obviously going to have a much lower condensation risk than temperate and cold climates. As a general rule, if you're in the southern United States or climate zones 1, 2, and 3, you only need about 10% of the R value of the assembly to be rigid insulation to prevent condensation. So if you're building an R38 roof, you would need about R4 outboard. If you're building in climate zone 4, you need about 20 to 30% of the R value of the assembly to be outboard rigid insulation. And as the climate gets colder, we increase that number by 10% each time. So climate zone 5, 40%, climate zone 6, 50%, and so on. But no matter what climate zone you're building in, it makes the most sense to install all of the insulation outboard in a flat roof, not only for the improved thermal performance from the lack of thermal bridging and the improved drying potential, but also because we can run ductwork mechanicals through the ceiling plane without having to build a dropped ceiling. So we get cleaner indoor air with mechanicals that are easier to install, easier to access, and easier to maintain. So are we done after we've installed the rigid insulation above the decking? No, not even close. When the warm, moisture-laden interior air rises, it passes through the joints in the sheathing and through any gaps and joints at the rigid insulation layers, and then condenses on the underside of the impermeable flat roof membrane or coverboard, resulting in a convective loop that will actually bring in unwanted moisture into the top of the assembly. This is especially a problem in colder climates where the temperature gradient is greater, but it can occur in warm climates where there is a large temperature difference between the air-conditioned interior and the hot exterior environment. This is primarily an air leakage problem, but if you're using vapor permeable insulation products like rock wool, wood fiber, or even expanded polystyrene, we need to have an air and vapor control layer between the sheathing and the rigid insulation to prevent this conductive looping and vapor transport. This is where a smart vapor retarder with tape joints can make a lot of sense, as it will prevent air leakage and vapor diffusion from the inside outwards, but allow moisture to dry to the interior if the assembly ever got wet, or to dry out any excess moisture from construction. If you're looking for more information on designing and building high-performance flat roof assemblies the right way, get my ebook on flat roof design in cold climates and the CAD details, available only at asiridesigns.com shop. I also have a ton of free articles on my website, so go and check those out as well. Links will be in the description below. Until next time, good luck on your projects.